Yo, what is going on guys? Jack here, and I've got a quick little Football Manager tips and tricks video for you guys today, showing you how to download items off the Football Manager 2015 Steam Workshop. If you don't know what the workshop is, essentially it's a big space on Steam, uh, where basically you are able to upload your files for other people to download and you can share them. Uh, what you can see in front of you is my personal workshop items. It includes stuff like my uh, tactic I've been using in my Arsenal save, my shortlists from my shortlist video, my Real Madrid tactic, as well as stuff like squad views and fixture views. So anyway, uh, you can also just get onto the general workshop by going into your main FM game. Uh, you just click on FM15 in the library tab that you can see up here. Uh, and then you can see this where it says browse the workshop. You click this and it will show you all the different files that have been downloaded and made downloadable. So you can see here there's three pages worth of stuff. Just a little tip, if you go down to the bottom of the first page, you can change the amount of items which are shown per page. Which is quite useful, especially uh, when more and more files are going to be going up. So anyway, to actually get a file into your game, uh, the example I'm going to do here is the squad view. Uh, you'd click on the squad view here, and you can now see that you get a preview of the item. It all looks lovely. Obviously, this is my personal squad view that I use in all my YouTube saves. Uh, then all you do is you hit the subscribe button. As you can see, it already says I'm subscribed. If I unsubscribe, uh, you can just see here, that's all you need to do while signed in on Steam, of course, either in uh, Steam itself, or if you're using the web browser link I've provided, just sign in there. So, and then it will say this item's been added to your subscription. Some games will require you to relaunch them before the item can be downloaded. So now that you've done that, it's now available for you in game. Uh, I'm not going to restart FM and I'm just going to hope this works, but essentially what you're going to do is you're going to come to the page relevant to the item you've downloaded, in this case the squad view. You're going to come to the drop down menu and you're going to go custom import view. And as you can see here, there's a load of different views. Uh, you can see this one here is my squad view. Uh, and all you do is you select this file and then hit load. As long as you've subscribed to the item successfully, uh, it will appear here as an import option. So if I hit load here, you can see it says the view was imported successfully. And now you have the view that was previously viewable on the other screen. There's a few other examples I'm just going to show you real quick because if I come back to the uh, workshop page you can see you can get shortlist files, tactics files, uh, databases and a few other things. So with databases uh, they pretty much work by subscribing to an item, in this case the Gibraltar one, and then when you start a new game it will tell you how many databases are active. Uh, you can just hit customized and then uh, you know select whichever ones you want to load at the start of your game. For stuff like shortlists all you're going to do is come to Football Manager. You're going to go to the uh, tactic screen or oh, no sorry we're doing shortlists first let's go to the shortlist screen that would help so you're going to come to the scouting shortlist tab and then the bottom left it says shortlist you just hit import shortlist and then as I mentioned before you have all the shortlists that uh, have synced up for you so they're all available there as you can see for me uh, the only one of my own that I'm subscribed to is the young defenders because of course I've already got these files on my PC for stuff like tactics, if you want to import a tactic from the workshop, as I mentioned before, I think you guys are getting the general gist, you'd come to a tactics page, in this case, 442 isn't dead, you hit subscribe, um, if you've not downloaded the file before, it'll come up at the bottom of Steam saying that the workshop content is being downloaded, uh, they're obviously very small files, stuff like tactics, so it doesn't take very long at all. Uh, once you've got a file downloaded that you want to have in game with tactics, you go to the manage tactics thing, uh, import, and then you here you have a list of all the tactics. There's a few of mine on the workshop. Workshop Real Madrid, the Real Team Tactics, even the wall, even the wall is there. But anyway, so you just go to load and as you can see here, uh, the Real Madrid Tactic will now load into my game. Uh, if I now go to this tab, Archive Tactics, and then select the Real Madrid one. So that is that. Uh, hopefully that's useful. Um, it, it's, it's not a... Uh, What's the word? It's not the it's not the most simple one with the tactics, but I mean you can see here how it works. It it's fairly fairly simple, and I feel like you guys are getting the general gist. One last one I'll show you is if you subscribe to a fixture view, you come to the fixtures tab, and it's very similar to the workshop uh, the workshop kind of guide for the squad views. But you go to customize current view, and then um, in fact no you don't. I'm a, I'm a liar. You go to um, custom and then import view. Uh, and then, of course, you've got, in this case, the complete fixture view from the Steam Workshop here that you can load in game. So anyway, guys, that is how you subscribe to stuff on the Workshop. Uh, for other stuff that I might not have covered, it's a very similar process in terms of subscribing to the item. And then, of course, as I mentioned before, just going into the game and importing it in. 
But anyway, hope you guys find this useful. Uh, what I'd suggest is that if you do enjoy the files that I do, I really do appreciate it if you rate them up, uh, just to show you how to do that. Even though I mentioned it earlier, uh, you can rate, favorite, and share it. And it, do it generally does help because it helps the better content get to the top. Uh, and it also helps my content get to the top, which in turn kind of supports me. So it is greatly appreciated. If this video has been useful and helped you kind of with using the Steam Workshop, um, I'm happy for you. Glad you enjoyed. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be fab. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Football Manager 2000 and videos pretty much coming daily. Uh, and other than that, guys, uh, that is me, Jack. Hopefully this video was useful. If you've got questions down below, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you, some of you guys, uh, to help you out if you're having any issues with this. Uh, but that's everything. So thank you so much for watching, guys. It is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.